Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salah Khan here. And today uh, we discuss something about the error detection codes. Alright, we've seen uh, uh, some other codes, and today uh, the basic topic is the Hamming code. Alright, but before Hamming code, we need to understand something called parity. Alright, parity. So, what is this thing parity? This parity is, you can say, it's a concept of detection of errors, alright? It's related to what? It's related to the detection of error, alright? It relates to detection of error. And what error? It only, it only relates with what? With a single bit error, okay? Single bit error. If the error is more than a single bit, parity has nothing to do with it. All right. Now uh, we come through it. Uh, we come to the parity. But you know what? Uh, if you are transmitting a signal, let's say this is your transmitter and this is your receiver, and you have you are transmitting a signal through any medium. So so for transmission of of the signal you require a medium you require a channel you require a channel it cannot be sent directly of course it could be a wire it could be waves in the air or anything so 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 during this transmission noise gets added noise gets added to the signal noise all right we change the bits we change some of the bits of the signal which means it can change a bit from low to high or it can change a bit from high to low which means that this is an error in the transmitted signal the receiver will not receive that signal which was transmitted by the transmitter an error has occurred now how to detect that so we have methods all right we are dealing with parity all right so what is parity parity is nothing but this is just an extra bit added to the original signal all right so let me write it here this is what this is just an extra bit that has been added to the original signal all right and this, or this, this extra bit tells about what? This extra bit tells us about the, 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 the total number of ones. Tells us about the total number of ones in the signal. This tells us about the total number of ones in the signal, right? Now, how is that? So we'll see that, okay, in detail in the Hamming code. But this is just an introduction to this parity. Now we have two types of this parity. Two types. Number one is the even parity, and the second is odd parity. Even parity and odd parity. Now, what is even parity and what is odd parity? So in even parity, the total number of ones, including the parity bit. Are even okay total number of ones including the parity bit are even all right and and in the odd parity the total number of ones including the parity bit are odd total number of ones are odd all right including the parity bit now how is that so let's say we have a we have a four bit signal let's say we have a four bit signal zero one zero zero this is the original signal right now the parity bit is placed after the least significant bit all right so now in the even parity, if you have total number of ones are even, okay? So in the original signal, this blue is the original signal, right? So we have total number of ones are one, which means this is odd. So you have to keep the parity bit high in this case. So this one. Now this is the parity bit. 
So the total number of ones now, including the parity bit of this signal to be transmitted, now it has even number of ones, all right? And similarly, if you have uh, even from before, let's say you have a 0, 1, 1, 0, this is the original signal, and you want to include the parity bit, and in case of the even parity, you have a low signal over here, or a 0 bit. Why? Now you have total number of ones as even, all right? Similarly, in the odd parity, if you have a total number of 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. Now for this case, the same, uh, well, no, not the same, but 0, 1, 1, 0. So for odd parity, you have to keep the total number of 1s as, as what? As odd. So you, 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 you give it a 1, the parity bit. So this becomes now odd parity, all right? And if you have odd number of ones from before, you have a 0, 1, 1, 1, let's say. So now in this case, you have to keep the parity bit low to keep the total number of ones is odd. All right. So you can say like this, in even parity, the total number of ones are odd, so you place a 1. So you hide the parity bit. If the total number of ones are even, you, the, the parity bit is low. And in the odd parity, if the total number of ones are even in the original signal, the parity bit is high. And the total number of ones are odd in the, in the original signal, so the parity bit is low in that case. All right? Okay, so I think I finished this lecture over here because uh, if I continue the Hamming code, so it will then be a very long video. And that becomes boring if it's very long. So that's all for this lecture, okay? See you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah, in which we, we discuss the, the Hamming code. All right, so thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.